Man walks in his integrity, and his children are blessed after him. Proverbs 20. But what if you didn't walk in integrity? What if you got lost in a bottle of booze every chance you could, and ran away when your son needed you most? And what if your little boy isn't blessed but is suffering? because of you. Can God's grace change that? I'm Ethan, and I'm on the train ride on a journey to fulfill my duties as a father. And this is my story. Beautiful day. Love the fall weather myself. Yeah. Ethan. Ambrose. Nice to meet you. So, where you headed, young man? I see my son Lucas. I haven't seen him since he was a baby. He's at my mom Thea's house with my ex Sarah. Oh yeah. That's Lucas's mom. This is him. That's Lucas. <laughs> Beautiful, right? <laughs> you know, I keep that in my pocket. Every day, everywhere I go with this 
one year sobriety point. They told me if I put it in my mouth and it melts, it's okay to drink again. <laughs> Interesting concept. Hasn't happened yet, though. Cute kid. Must take after his mother, huh? <laughs> Wise guy. <laughs> it's been a long, hard journey to get here, Ambrose. Cowboy still again, huh? When are you gonna make me something good for dinner, Thea? As soon as you stop blowing your entire paycheck on booze. What's that? What'd you say? Nothing. Yeah, you did, Thea. You said something. What'd you say? Say it again. Say it again. I dare you! Say it again. I can't work miracles. I, I don't have money for anything else other than ground beef and potatoes. Oh, that again, huh? <laughs> I've read you a story, Daddy. It's about me and you going fishing. You catch this gigantic... gigantic Every chance you get, you disrespect me. Cut me down. And then, and then you teach me how to cast, Daddy. You're never satisfied with anything. You're always complaining about something, Thea. Always complaining. You know what I think it is? You know what I think it is? I've been thinking. I think maybe you get some kind of sick enjoyment out of doing this to me all the time, right? No. 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 Well, that's right. Perfect little Thea. Perfect little Thea. Mom of the century. Congratulations on that, Thea. And then I catch this big fish, but... Is that what happens? Oh, baby him. Baby him like you always do. Encourage his stupid ideas. His ideas aren't stupid. What? Going outside. Oh, that's right. Run away. Just run away with him. Keep him soft. Keep him soft, Thea. You know, he's never going to do anything important. He's never going to amount to anything because of you. Because of you, just remember that, Thea. Go, go, go. And while you're out there, get me another beer. Get it yourself. It's the only father I knew, though. The only father I had drunk and absent one. The irony is, even though she did everything she could to steer me in the right direction, I became more like my father. Ah, oh, come on. You know, just once in my lifetime, I'd like the birds to win a bowl. Just once. Ain't gonna happen, John. What do you mean ain't gonna happen? Curse, bro. Ethan, that's why you should make the switch to soccer. Come Can on. Can we agree that you wouldn't talk soccer during football season? Soccer is a better game, and you know it in your heart. Oh, I think I just vomited in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Hope, three shots for me and my pals, please. No, Hope, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Grab them, they'll drink them, trust me. <sighs> Thank you, Hope. Bring it in. To the two best friends a guy could ever wish for. John, like the brother I never had. Dimitri, the father I never knew. Down the hatch, gents. Bring it on. Just me and John and Dimitri, a few other friends getting together, having a few drinks. 
But as time went by, I would, I would watch them. They had this switch inside their heads, you know? They could just turn off and go back to their responsibilities. But me, I never had that switch. You know, Ethan, you and I have been good friends for quite a few years now. I've always liked you. But John, nah, John not so much. But you, I've always considered a close friend. But lately, lately you've been too hard on yourself. A man can't put that kind of weight on his shoulders. It really starts to crush his soul. You understand what I'm talking about? I guess what I'm trying to say is I can't drink with you anymore. Okay? So I can help you. I can help you get help. Because you really mean a lot to me, my man. Are you listening to me? Huh? It was the last time Dimitri had a drink with me. Couldn't stand to see me do that to myself. Ethan, you okay? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Dan? What? Mm -hmm. what? I'm fine, bro. I'll call you. Ethan, maybe you should wait. No, 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 no. It's, it's, he's going out to call his son again. It's a new thing he does now when he's hammered. He's been really a self-defecating man as of lately. Oh, he's only making it worse. Hmm? Well, you can't stop him. He's a grown man. He can poop on his own parade if he wants. Sarah, 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 can I just talk to Lucas? So I was only with her a couple months before she got pregnant. Things were good. I, I, I got a job. I was off the hooch altogether, working, happy. And then Lucas was born. Best day of my life, ever. And then we found out he was severely autistic. Instead of waiting around for answers, I just let the liquor do the talking, like always. Ethan, you know the rules. You can't talk to your son unless you're sober. And you're not sober. And it's one o'clock in the afternoon. Nice. I'm sober. Do you hear me? I'm sober. I'm talking fine. What are you talking about? It's... You got the child support I sent, right? Are you kidding me right now? You haven't made a payment in over four months. You know what they do to deadbeat dads in Philly, don't you? There's probably a warrant out for you at this point. Well, you, you call the cops? You call the cops? Are you kidding me right now? Sarah, he's my son. He's my son, Sarah! Sarah? Sarah, are you there? Hang up the phone. Ah, you... ah! I'm sorry, mommy, sorry. I'm so... Help me, Lucas. I don't know how to help you. Ran away like a little boy. What kind of man does that? That's not a father. But now I keep having this vision, you know, this, this dream that I'm sitting with him. Just he and I, and we're talking. He's talking to me, you know? I want to be there for his first words, Ambrose. Ethan, hey! It's been a while. What's it been like a week? You been in jail? No, wise guy, I wasn't in jail. I was cleaning up a little bit. I'm trying to turn over a new leaf. Uh, got a gift from my kid and a cake. Check it out. Yeah. Top of the line. Awesome. Right? Mm hmm Mom's so proud of you. A little nervous. I take a, a beer and a whiskey, calm the nerves. 
How about just a beer to be safe? How about a beer and a whiskey? Whiskey for Jack. Oh, thank you. Soon. Thank you. Mm -hmm. To the kid. To the kid. Woo! Round for the chicks! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Ethan, Ethan, you have a phone call. What? You have a phone call. Who's calling me here? I don't know, but they don't sound too happy. Uh, um, hello? called your son and personally promised him you would be here today. He didn't have a birthday cake, Ethan. Who does that to his son? I'm done with you. You're not allowed to see him or talk to him until you're sober for at least a year. I hope you're happy with yourself. You know, I used to blame my dad for who I've become, but I had choices, man. I mean, I could have went right instead of left, right instead of wrong, but I just kept choosing wrong. Hey, buddy. Listen, Ethan, I gotta tell you something. It's not gonna be easy for me, I'm not gonna lie. But I have a new roommate coming in here next week. Look, I could deal with you not paying your rent for three going on four months. I mean, $2,000 isn't worth the friendship. But I can't. I can't sit back and watch you drink yourself to death and God forbid something should happen to you here alone and I didn't do anything about it. I wouldn't be able to live. Look, Ethan, if you would just go into rehab today, I could tell this guy that the room is taken. Please, Ethan.
I'm not going to rehab. You were supposed to be my best friend. Tough love, but that's the only way to deal with an addict. It sounds like he cares about you a lot. Ethan, yo, my boy, yo, Ethan, yo. Where you been, my man? I've been looking all over for you. Hey, you can't be missing so long. I've been worried sick about you. Come on, your your mom has been calling. She's real worried, brother. You gotta give her a call. Yeah, I'm just kind of doing my thing out here, you know. So, tell you what, why don't you let me take you out and get you something? You know, I'm mostly on a liquid diet, um, so I'm trying to stay hydrated. I see you haven't lost your sense of humor. And I figured you'd say that much, so here's what I did. I brought you some stuff. I know you're hungry. I got you some good Greek food. Yeah, I got gyros, great. and a coke, great. and a big that's lava. That's great. Why don't you take all that stuff back and bring me a bottle of Oso, and you'd be helping me. Ethan, you know I can't do that. You know I can't do that. Yo, 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 where are you going? Come here. Let me talk to you for a second, will you? I never told you this before, but, but I had a son once. He was born premature, OK? But I had him for a few days. The thing is, when I met you and John, we were so full of life. We had we had such a good time. Playing pool, watching ball games. Ethan, I felt like I had my son back. So please, I'm begging you. Let me help you. That's tough about your kid. That really sucks. But I ain't him. Life is short, Ethan. Remember, there's people out there that love you. But that's how it was. I was an empty vessel. No compassion, heart full of darkness. Some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons. Yeah, yes, man. You're, uh, you're well versed in the word. You know, Ethan, one day you are going to be the best dad in the world, and I'm going to be one proud grandma. I truly believe that. You have to believe in God and believe in yourself. And he will always be there to carry you, even when you think you can't do something. And the sky will always be there waiting for you. OK? All right, let's get you into bed. <laughs> Now we've got you all nice and warm, so you should fall right to sleep. Why was the heat turned off again? It's an adult problem, Ethan. Let me worry about it. I'll find a way to get it turned back on, I promise. And I also promise I will not let you get cold. I'm gonna come in here every couple of hours to check on you, okay? Good. Because I don't want you to turn into an icicle. Although, You'd be the most handsome little icicle I had ever met! <laughs> Mia? Mia! I love you more for you. I want you downstairs waiting for me. Not upstairs, baby and him! So, what was your defining moment? Before you went downhill, got close to that rock bottom. I hit many bottoms before I burned and crashed into the rocks. Not upstairs, baby and him. Voice tell me. 
business. Keep my voice down? Don't tell me to keep my voice down. This is my house. I'll talk as loud as I want. <laughs> and I want dinner on the table when I walk in that door. And there's nothing on the table now. Nothing was on the table two hours ago when you were supposed to be home. What did you say? Nothing. What did you just say to me? Nothing. I'll heat it up. No, you won't. <laughs> Clean that slut off the floor and you're gonna make me a sandwich. Dad. Dad, stop. Stop. Why did you do that to my mom? He's my, he's my father. No, he's not. He's my father. Are you okay, Dad? Get away! I was just trying to... Ah! No! No! First time it made sense to me, man, what I was supposed to do. I need you, John. Can you help me, man? Can you help me, brother? So my mother, she got the ball rolling. She got me in touch with the minister at my church, Father Michael. That's how I found out about Bethesda Mission. <laughs> I like where this is going. But as for me, I will look to the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Like a 7-7. Nice. Wow, I'm impressed you know that. Yeah, well, what happened next is the reason I know that. It saved my life. How about you, Ethan? So this is it, huh, Father? You're taking me to the Bethesda mission. Bethesda, healing water. This is only the beginning, Ethan. Open your heart to the Lord, and he will hear you. I promise you that. In a homeless shelter, Father. It is more than that. The process of your recovery is within. Let the healing begin, Ethan. your entire intake file. And I met with Father Michael and your mother. You're very lucky to have them in your life. You got a fresh cut. Oh, we're already taking care of you. So let's just get to it, Ethan. Why don't you tell me why you're here? I'm drunk. And now I'm homeless, so, uh, guess this is my last chance, huh? Well, you're right on the drunk and homeless part. But this isn't your last chance. If 
fact. It's a new beginning. The answers to every important question you have are in that book. Ethan, everyone here wants the same thing. Redemption. And we all have our own demons. But the most important thing for you to remember is the relationship you build with Jesus Christ here will determine whether you are ever able to walk out those doors the right way and have a life with your boy. Your room's down the basement. Hello? Hold on a second. Welcome to Bethesda Mission. Hey, sorry. Welcome to the mission, my brother. Yeah. Let me show you to your rack. I'm so sorry, buddy. Daddy's trying. I got your house. Why don't you give me another life lesson? Don't play cards with me. <laughs> well, this one's mine. I don't know. Whoa. Okay. What kind of ice cream do you guys like? Shaking doesn't last. It'll be better tomorrow. What's the matter, man? You feeling froggy? Oh, no, no, no. Through, get I'm, a through this. Call my mom. She's no, gonna I, come no, and get me, bro. I swear to God, she's gotta come here. I'm gonna rescue you. 
Do you know see it? You gotta come this yourself. You gotta do the next one. So I was in that place for nine months. Meetings every day, prayer, meditation, discipline, you know? Everyone starts cleaning here. You gotta be kidding me. Nope. I ain't cleaning that thing. Well, that's up to you. But uh, if you ever want to see your child again, I think you will. What's this for? It's for the, uh, the crevices. You gotta get in there. Yeah, thanks. I'll be back to inspect. I had never cleaned a toilet in my life, mind you. You know why? Why? I thought I was too good for it. But while I was doing it, cleaning this nasty toilet, I had an epiphany, you know? I realized for the first time I was no better than any one of those people. <laughs> I was just another guy, garden variety alcoholic, trying to get another day of sobriety. There was many people in there that were just as sick as me. Yeah, I'm going to China. There it is. Yeah, I'm so going this is how it works, I think. Okay. Basically, let's do it. Let's do it for real. You roll the dice. There's a ring. You more. pick a card up, you roll the dice, and then... Hand it out when you're done. Keep the door open. Dirty Ted. Come on. Zero tolerance, guys. Hey, Ken. I need to see my kid, man. You're not ready. I am ready. In fact, it's all I think about. I need to see my kid. I need to call him at least. Which is why you're not ready. You're thinking about the reward of seeing Lucas without thinking about the work you need to do on you to make it happen. You want the reward without putting in the work. You want the easy road, just like always. Get your fate off wall. Put in the work, and with God's help, and through his grace, All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, all right? Really? To go through all that work down the drain. About to lose yourself in that bottle. Again. You know, this isn't just about you, Ethan. Your son needs you, and you're about to blow it, man. I guarantee you, you take one drink from that bottle, and your misery will be refunded to you 100%. Trust me. I know. And you'll lose your kid. You will never see him again, ever. But you know if that's what you want? Big man had to have it. 
but you ever want to do the right thing, you know where I'll be. Yo! Wait up. What up? Hey, Mike. You're not doing it right, pal. You gotta get under the lip first. You can do it. I'll be back to inspect. <laughs> so, it went in, it went in <laughs> uh, no, no, no. This will be my last day with you, uh, men and women. I want to part with these words. You're never ever going to be happy and find peace until you turn your will and your life over to the care of God. Rely on God and have faith that you can do this. I was so lost when I got here. And, uh, I was told that he could handle it, so I did. I turned it over, and here I am. And if he was able to handle me, trust me, he could handle any one of you. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to do it on my own, in my own way so many times, I've lost count and I've failed every single time. Be truthful. Ask God for guidance. And always remember, be patient. God has three ways of answering. Yes, no, and wait. I heard when I first got here that whenever there's two people seeking God, that he's usually there. And although we can't see him, and some of you new people can't feel him, I want you to know that he's here, right before your eyes. And I'm living proof of that. So before I part, I want to call you, find men and women up here to lay your hands upon me as we close with the serenity prayer followed by the Lord's Prayer. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. I'll tell you what, it's pretty painful, Ambrose. See your kid growing up through pictures. But you turned it all around. You faced your demons, stood up to them, became a better man. That's something you should be proud of, Ethan. Yeah, but I just, I just hope I can help him. I mean, I, I hope I can sit across from him and hear him speak. I mean, wouldn't that be something? With God's touch, anything is possible. All the father has to do is take his hand and put it on your boy's lips. Man, I, I wish it were that easy. Unfortunately, nothing is. Prayer is a powerful thing, Ethan. It really does work, if you believe. What do you pray on the most, if you don't mind me asking? Well, lately I've been having a um, recurring dream that kind of includes uh, prayer. It's me in a park with me as a child, and Lucas is there, and all three of us are playing, and I, I hold them both up close to me, and I whisper in their ear. What do you whisper to them? I love you. God loves you. Forgive. Why do you think you pray on that? It brings me hope. Dinner's ready. Pork? Oh, oodles of noodles again. You love oodles of noodles. Yeah, but not every night. Eat it. <laughs> Aren't you gonna eat? I'm not hungry, honey. Mom? Yes? How come Dad never gets home till after I'm asleep? He works long hours. Some of the kids at school say he's the town drunk. Who said that? Some kids. Is he? Your father uses alcohol for relaxation. 
some men build models, your father has a few drinks. Is that why we don't have any money and you can't eat? Stop it. A boy your age shouldn't have to think about such things. Does he still love us? Of course he does. He doesn't even talk to me. Why? Well, look, I'm gonna tell you something and I want you to listen to me good, okay? I love you with all of my heart. And I will always take care of you and I'm going to make sure that there's clothes on your back and food in your belly. And I'm going to make sure that you have everything that you need to be a good man, I promise. And I will always love you and you will always be my little man, you understand me? Still hurts. Yeah. Yeah, I still haven't made peace with my dad. We haven't spoken in years and I'm not sure I even want to, you know? I heard through the grapevine he's been trying to contact Lucas and me. He wants to make peace. I don't know, I'm, I'm just not feeling it. Well, I hope things work out with you and your dad. You don't want to regret not making peace with him. I mean, if the man wants to make peace, make peace. We all deserve a second chance. Right, Ethan? I just keep thinking, what if he doesn't forgive me? Ethan, you made this decision yourself. You've come a long way to get clean. You decided to fly right for your kid. You should be happy, proud of that. Come on, let's go. All right, after you. It's a big date for you, huh? Yeah, I'm still nervous. Hey, listen, I got something for you. Oh, Dimitri. For you. No, nah, man, yeah. I can't take that. Oh, look. Put it back in your pocket. Dimitri. Come on. Well, my father gave this to me in Greece when I was a kid. Yeah, I know. Just before we came to America. Won't be good luck on my journey and in my life, and now I'd like to pass it on to you for luck on your journey. Okay? It's from my heart. It's a Greek tradition. You gotta take it. You gotta accept it. I guess I have no choice, huh? Enjoy, man. You're a gem. Thank you. I'm Cristo. What'd you say? I'm Cristo. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, my man. Very good. I told you if you listen to me. I love The you. Greek is getting much better. All right. That thug, man. This guy's causing enough trouble over here. Excuse me a minute, guys. It won't be long, I promise. You sure you want to mess around with that guy? Yeah, let me die, I can handle it. Dimitri, be careful, bud. Hey, uh... John, we gotta go. You all right? Yeah, it's, it's kind of stuff happens all the time. Yeah, take it easy. Look, I'm sorry you had to see this, man. You know, what are you going to do? Listen, I'm going to miss you, my friend. Mm -hmm. I got to go, guys. Hey, I'll yeah. walk with you. All right. Stay away from that guy. Yeah, be careful. Your cave in Pennsylvania, ladies and gentlemen. Last stop. Well, I guess this is my stop.
It was nice hearing your story, Ethan. You're gonna be a great dad. Thanks. You know what, I can't, I can't do it, I can't. I'm not, I'm not ready for this, man. You gotta get off here, my friend. No. No, I'm, uh, I'm not ready. He's not gonna accept me the way that I am now, and I'll just, I'll just book another trip. Look, boy! I did not sit here for the last hour and a half listening to your story for you not to get off this train and to go see your son. You know why you're gonna go see your boy today? You're gonna go see him for all those men at the home who never got the chance to. You're gonna do it for all of those toilets of humility you had to scrub to take down that ego of yours. You're gonna do it for John and Dimitri and your mother because they believed in you. You're gonna do it to break the cycle because your father couldn't because you are a strong man, Ethan. And most of all, you're gonna do it because your son needs you. A son needs his father. But you know that better than most men. He needs you to be there for him, to care for him, to protect him. Because that's what a parent does. You're right. Thank you. You do all the thanking I need by taking care of your boy. Now get your narrow butt off this train. <laughs> I'm gonna go see my kid. Fall has a lot of symbolism. Something I think about when I look around is how much things change in fall. Life-given foliage makes way to a colorful orchestra of leaves that eventually wither away and slowly descend upon the cold, hard earth. A gray marble sky constantly lingers overhead, accompanied by dreary weather, trying to suffocate all that it touches. That sounds a bit pessimistic though, right? I guess it all depends on how you look at it. One can, for instance, notice all the brilliance of the colors of fall and see that this season does have a life of its own. Unfortunately though, only when our immortality complex wears off that we actually understand that tomorrow is no guarantee. The weather can do what it wants because the optimism of having a son breathes new life into me. He is life. He is the spring and summer after a long, cold, unforgiving fall and winter. But it's amazing how a little boy can teach a grown man his most important lesson in life without uttering a single word. How to forgive. I remember these tracks well. They lead back to my mom's house. I walked them a thousand times when I was a boy. Now I'm walking them to see my son. I hope I can do this. Please, God, give me the strength to walk these tracks to my new life, to be a loving, strong, and kind father. How long has it been since you've heard from him? About an hour and a half. He said he'd call as soon as he got to town. 
train takes about 90 minutes. Well, if I know my son, which I think sometimes I do, he'll be here good and late. Lucas! You remember me, bud? I'm your dad. You remember me? Come here. near the street. Promise me you will never do that again. Is he okay? Get Sarah, inside. I had him. Get inside. Mom, I had him. Guys, it's cool. I'm, I'm here. Guys, why are you listening to me? Bud. I love you, bud. Cute kid indeed. What are you doing here? This part is always hard for me to say. What are you talking about? Why can't they hear me? The living can't hear you, Ethan. You're passing on. No, 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 you're crazy. See for yourself. Uh, uh, wait, but I was on the train about an hour and a half ago. Time is irrelevant at this point. You are not physically here, Ethan. I gotta go, guys. Hey, I'll careful. work with you. All right. Stay yeah. away from that guy. Yeah, be careful. physically still at the deli. I traveled all this way though, man. I'm here. Look at me. I'm standing right here. Only your spirit is here, Ethan. Here at the end of your journey. Your mission was to protect your son from harm. And you did just that. I did. You're right, I did. And I don't want that to end. I want to be here. I want to be his father. I want to stay right here. Can't that change? Look, man, I spent my whole life trying to get a purpose and try and be a dad. I finally get it, and, and you're trying to take it away from me, man. You're right, Ethan. You learned what your purpose is, what your whole reason for being on this earth was. And because you have worked so hard at being a good father to your son, I'm going to reward you through the Father, through whom all things are possible. Ethan, the father is going to let you talk to your boy one last time. He's going to talk to me? Oh. 
this. I carry this with me wherever I go. Because I love you. And, uh, I just want to know what it is. It, what can I do for you, Lucas? All the father has to do is take his hand and put it on your boy's lips. Lucas. Speak. Forgive you, Daddy. I love you, Daddy. I don't want you to leave. Oh, buddy, I don't want to leave either. I love you so much, kid. But I gotta go. I'm always gonna be right inside here, okay? And I'm always gonna watch over you and your mom. to daddy. He's my angel, mommy. <laughs> Baby, who's talking? <laughs> he said he'd always be with me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. deserve a second chance, right Ethan? Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Buddy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, Lucas. Sarah, thank you so much for this. Happy birthday. Thank you. How do you feel? I'm all right, I'll live. Thank you. Good guy. Hey. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you. You did it yourself. <laughs> I would just throw him away. Like that. Oh, my. Yeah, don't ever follow my lead, buddy. I made this picture for you, Daddy. You did? Do you like it? <laughs> Do I like it? Buddy, I love it. I'll get it. It's the best gift I ever got. Thank you so much. Ethan. There's someone here to see you.
welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I like about the stars? That's a tough question. How beautiful the stars look? They look like pinpoints of light because they sparkle. Christian was diagnosed with autism at an early age, probably around age three. He's very closed off in the beginning, didn't want anyone to touch him. The usual, uh, you know, a lot of traits with autistic kids is they don't want do to be, you know, stay away from me. Like Separated all his food, the, uh, did the whole thing, stacked up things neatly. It, it seems like as the years go on, though, he kind of outgrows that. And one of the main ways he did that was getting into astronomy. I was having dreams that I never hear him talk, you know? And he did, now he can't shut up. <laughs> It's so peaceful, it's like heaven When you know you're not forgotten And you don't have 